What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're going to talk about ways of updating our Anaconda virtual environments. So this is going to be a continuation of the first video I did on managing Conda environments. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been on Python 3.5 for a while, and I think it's time to move to 3.6. So we're going to look at a few ways of switching your Python version to a newer one. And also we'll look at ways of updating all your packages in your environment. So that'll be the idea for this video. So let's get started. So like I said before, I want to move to Python 3.6. So the first option would be to create a separate virtual environment and create that with Python 3.6. So it's super simple to create virtual environments with Conda. You're just going to do conda create dash n for name. I'm going to call it py um, 3.6 test. And then you just specify the version of Python you want. So I'm just going to say 3.6. And if I want a complete copy of all the packages that come with Anaconda, instead of listing every single package out in a list, um, that would just take too long because there's hundreds of them. You can instead just do Ana anaconda so when you run this it'll ask me if i want to install all these so i can just show you how many packages anaconda comes with so you can see here all the way from alabaster all the way down to zlib so there's a ton of packages and they're all the 3.6 versions of them so this would be one option if you want to move to Anaconda with 3.6. Um, it's probably the safest bet because you're creating a separate environment. So any of your other previous environments are unaffected. So it's a good option. I, I would recommend this. So all you do is click yes and then continue with the update or the install. It takes a few minutes to do because it's quite a bit of data, but that's option number one for moving to Python 3.6. I'm gonna go ahead and hit no because I'm not gonna install it right now. So now let's talk about how to update Python for a particular virtual environment. So for example, let's create a virtual environment so we can play with. So the command for that is gonna be conda create dash n for name, and then we give it a name. So I'm gonna call it py34 underscore test. And then we specify the version of Python. So I'm gonna say Python is equal to 3.4.2, just so I can give it a specific version. And then we just list the packages we want. And in order to save time, I'm just gonna install pip. So this is gonna go ahead and run all the commands to install this stuff. So pip, Python, setup tools, VS runtime, and wheel. Cool, so now that that's done, we'll go ahead and activate our environment by typing activate pi34 underscore test. And then you can tell it's activated because it'll put the name right here. So let's say I want to update the version of Python to a more current version of Python 3.4. So we're not going to switch versions. We're just going to move to a more current branch of 3.4. So the command for that is going to be conda update Python. So now it's going to go check to see if there's a more current version of Python 3.4. And you can see here, there's a 3.4.5-0. So to go ahead and install that, we'll just hit yes. So this is good if you're say on Python 3.6 and it's been a while since you've installed it, there could be a more current branch of 3.6. So you can just go ahead and run conda update Python. It'll move you to any newer versions of Python. So cool. Now let's say we want to completely move from 3.4 to 3.6. We want to do a complete jump from Python versions. So the command for that is going to be conda install, and then we specify the version of Python we want. So we're going to say Python equals 3.6. So now when we run this, you can see it's going to move all of our packages to a 3.6 version. So pip's going to move to a 3.6 version. Python's going to move from 3.45 to 3.63. And then all these other packages are moving to uh, Python 3.6 versions. So I'll go ahead and click yes to run this.
And now that that's done, just to show you, I'll just go ahead and type Python and you can see we're on 3.6.3. .3. So that's how you can move from a completely different version to a new one. And just a side note, you might run into problems with this. In this case, we didn't because we barely had any packages. We just had pip and a few other things. But for a much larger virtual environment with a ton of packages, it is possible that you'll run into a conflict where it's going to try and update each package that you have. But if there's not a valid version uh, or a valid package that will work with the new version of Python, it'll throw an error and prevent it. So just to show you what I mean, um, I'm just going to go ahead and exit and deactivate. And then now that I'm in my root version, if I were to go ahead and say conda install Python 3.6, it's going to try and fetch all the new packages that it would install, but you'll see here that it's going to hit an error. So you can see this package arg complete. It's not able to find a valid version for Python 3.6, so the command fails. So in order to do this, you'd have to basically remove all the packages that have this problem. And in order to do that, you could just do conda remove and then the package would be, I believe it's just arg complete. And so now it's going to ask me if I want to remove it. I'll just go ahead and say yes. So now if I were to run this, it's going to not fail on that package, but it's going to fail on another one. So in this case, it should fail on OpenCV, I believe. So yeah, it's saying OpenCV has a conflict. It can't find a new version. But if you do want to, like say, take your root conda and move it to a new one, you have to address all these conflicts. So I'll probably go ahead and do that later. But just to give you a warning, you might run into these errors. So what you can do is just remove them, move to your new version of Python, and then reinstall them. You should be able to find a version of OpenCV for 3.6, especially since 3.6 has been out for over a year now. So there should be packages for all of them. Cool. Now let's say we want to update all the packages in our virtual environment to the most recent ones. So the command for that is going to be conda update dash dash all. So now when you run this, it's going to find, it's going to go through all your packages and see if there's a newer version that it, it should move to. So take a minute to go through it, but here you can see, here's all the ones it found. So Anaconda, there's a custom one, the Navigator, there's a new version, all of these, there's a new version. So, and I just ran this a couple days ago, so I'm surprised there's so many new versions, but yeah, in order to update all your packages, you just do conda update all. It'll find all of them and then hit yes. And what it'll also do, if there's packages that you don't have, like say new packages that they've added to Anaconda, it'll install those new ones. So you might get a few new packages as well. So I'm just going to hit no because I don't want to do that right now. It'll take too long. But yeah, that's how you can update all your packages. Finally, I'd just like to show you how to update Conda itself. So Conda is your package manager. It's very similar to pip, but it has a lot more features. Um, it has all these virtual environments and you can also install things that aren't Python packages. So you can install like Node.js or the CUDA toolkit, things that aren't um, actual Python packages. You could pretty much have it install anything. So um, the way you would update that, I'm sure you could probably guess it, but it's just Conda update conda so now when you run this it will check to see if there's a newer version of conda and move you to that one so you can see here that i already ran this a little bit ago so my conda is up to date but if it's been a while it's good to run this as well to see if there's a newer version of conda so that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys found it useful and if you've got any questions you know comment below i'll do my best to help you and also, just to mention, all of this is well documented in the Conda documents, so feel free to have a look. You'll find all these commands there, and it, like I said, everything's well documented. So there'll be a link in the description where you can follow along. But yeah, that's going to be it. Um, like I said, comment below, 
And if you liked the video, give it a like. And if you really liked it and you want to see more content, then hit the subscribe button. See you guys.